Okay, guys, for those of you who are my long-term uh, subscribers, you'll, uh, you'll remember the video of this one in the past when I did the eight spark plugs on it and they all broke. Well, 40,000 miles later, we're back in the shop again for a uh, misfire, hesitation, check engine light, shutter, and no power whatsoever. When I, I went out and drove this thing and there is nothing. I mean, it does everything it can do to maintain 55, 60 miles an hour. And the more throttle you give it, the more it bogs down, starts kicking, bucking, knocking, pinging. It sounds awful. So, bunch of research later, bunch of time on the forums. Identifix for the win. Identifix is beautiful. Went ahead and tore the valve covers off, tore the uh, top intake off, the, or the... Uh, top of the air plenum there off, took the fan and the shroud out, took the belt off, the tensioner and all that just to get stuff out of the way because I figured I was going to have to take the front cover off and yes I am and here's why. So let's take a look at the driver's side timing chain here. Look at all that play. Let's see if I can get it down here and shine my light on it. All right, I'm going to try to multitask here. Part of my neighbor's music in the background. <laughs> okay, so here's here's what we got. Here's the timing chain on the cam. Look at all that play. So I'm hoping the engine did not jump time because that wouldn't be good. Anyway, that's the source of our noise and my engine's running so rough. Go over here and look at this side, still tight. So, I'm going to pull the front timing cover off, probably find a broken guide down in there, like the plastic ones usually do. Thanks a lot, Ford. Genius engineers. This whole engine was, in my opinion, kind of a complete failure. Even when maintained well, the phasers still go bad. Uh, plastic guides do break. And when you go 8, 10,000 miles in between oil changes like this guy did, it uh, just accelerates that stuff and makes it even worse. So, we'll see what's behind the t uh, front timing cover next. So I'm down to uh, pulling the harmonic balancer off here, and <laughs> kind of funny. Looks goofy, but it works. This is my puller tool here, and what I've got is two lug nuts, and the bolts are from a Chevrolet. 5.3, it's a Silverado I did uh, pistons on for the oil uh, consumption issue. Those were two head bolts I had left over. I don't know why, but I found them in my toolbox, and they fit. So all I had to do, since my one main bolt down here was shorter than the head bolts, I just took two lug nuts, used them as spacers, and it worked perfect. So now we're going to go ahead and pull the harmonic balancer off. <laughs> Just like so. And there she be. Got that off. So we're that much closer to getting the front cover off. Just thought I'd show you this little, little gizmo here. <laughs> it worked perfect. And at long last, here is the timing cover right now hopefully yep there we go there it is let's see what we got here oh boy look at those long guides yep uh, hmm not seeing anything broken, but look at all that slack. Holy crap. Man. Yep. That'll cause a problem. Yeah, look at all that slack in that chain. That is ridiculous. That probably jumped time. Would not surprise me. Explain why it's running so poorly. 
I'm just wondering. What's causing all the slack? I don't see anything right off the bat. Nothing broke. Just look at, I mean, here, look at this one here. Good and tight. And then come over here to this one. Look at all that. Yep. Well, that's definitely, it's definitely not right most likely the cause of our problem now we just gotta figure out what is causing all that slack maybe a bad tensioner or just a stretch chain it's weird there's a lot of slack though look at I can fit I can fit my whole hand underneath there I can't even come close to budging this one there we go 